Welcome to Simple Investing Secrets. In today's video, we'll explore 12 no-brainer retirement stocks to buy in 2023. So before we start, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for weekly updates. Let's get started. Investors who are looking for different ways to make money right now can take advantage of the market's huge volatility. In the world of stocks, a number of high-quality retirement-centric investments should be on the radar, given the market's tilt toward defensive, lower-risk assets. Investing in no-brainer retirement stocks may be the painful but profitable action to take right now, regardless of the market downturn. We define no-brainer retirement stocks as those companies with an incredibly consistent track record of rewarding shareholders. These rewards can include dividends, share buybacks, or capital appreciation over time. By buying these stocks, investors can grow their wealth and make sure they have a smooth retirement. It's often the more established ideas that flourish as retirement stocks. As a result, this list includes some of the most well-known names on the stock market, which continue to make investors rich at a very fast rate every year. That said, let's look at 12 no-brainer retirement stocks you should wager on for the long haul. Number 12. Next Era Energy, ticker, NEE. The first no-brainer stock that's ripe for your retirement portfolio is the largest electric utility stock by market cap, Next Era Energy. While it won't deliver the supercharged growth rates you'd potentially find with tech stocks, Next Era Energy is the equivalent of a growth stock among electric utilities. With the stock market navigating its way through a period of heightened uncertainty, putting your money to work in basic necessity stocks can be a smart idea. Regardless of whether you own or rent a home, you'll almost certainly need electricity to power your appliances. Electricity demand doesn't change much each year, which allows Next Era and its peers to pretty accurately forecast their annual cash flow. This transparency is what allows management to put aside money for new infrastructure projects and acquisitions without impacting profitability. The reason Next Era Energy is effectively a growth stock within the utility sector is its renewable energy focus. There isn't a utility in the country that's generating more capacity from solar or wind power. Next Era frequently leaned on historically low lending rates to fuel wind and solar projects. On the other hand, these clean energy sources have reduced the company's electricity generation cost. The result is a roughly 10% annualized adjusted earnings growth rate over the past 10 years. Comparatively, most electric utilities are growing by a low single-digit percentage. Next Era Energy is also ahead of the curve on Capitol Hill. If legislation were to require electric utilities to meet certain clean energy standards in the future, Next Era would have a huge head start. Including its dividend, Next Era Energy has delivered a positive total return for its shareholders in 19 of the past 21 years. Those are good odds for patient investors. Number 11. Chevron, ticker, CVX. Headquartered in San Ramon, California, Chevron is one of the super majors, another name to describe a member of big oil. Currently, Chevron features a market capitalization of $359.1 billion. On a year-to-date basis, CVX gained a staggering 55.6% of equity value. While some folks may be leery of buying into strength, Chevron brings plenty of fundamental might to the table. Although political dynamics emphasize pivoting toward clean energy, the hydrocarbon industry will likely remain relevant for a long time. Therefore, CVX is worth consideration for energy stocks to buy for the long haul. Number 10. BCB Bancorp, ticker, BCBP. BCB Bancorp is a leading regional bank with branches all over New Jersey and New York. BCBP stock offers investors a solid forward dividend yield of 3.2%, with two years of dividend expansion. Moreover, the company's payout ratio of 24.6% indicates massive room for dividend growth. Also, the stock sports a low valuation, trading at 2.8 times forward sales. In its most recent quarter, BCB sales went up by a healthy 24%, and its net income grew by a lot. The company reported stellar loan growth in the first nine months of this year and is expected to see strong growth and margin expansion over the next several months. Also, the company is investing a lot of money into improving its digital capabilities, which should strengthen its balance sheet. Number 9. Apple, ticker, AAPL. Consumer electronics giant Apple has been an incredible business and wealth compounder for long-term investors. Apple's eye-catching shareholder rewards have been driven by its robust business, which continues to produce consistently growing earnings and revenues. Looking at Apple stock's impressive 250% rise over the past few years, it's easy to forget about the rather lackluster performance this stock and the market have seen of late. Interestingly, Apple is one of the few tech companies that pay a quarterly dividend. 
this dividend distribution has grown for nine consecutive years, now yielding roughly 0.6%. Moreover, the company is a heavy purchaser of its own shares, buying back more of its stock than any other entity in the US last year. It spent a whopping $85.5 billion in buybacks and followed it up with $90 billion in 2022. Since its business is as strong as ever, we think that number will keep going up for the foreseeable future. This makes Apple stock an easy choice for a retirement investment. Number 8. Berkshire Hathaway, ticker, BRKB. Warren Buffett is a very successful investor, but he is not perfect. His track record as CEO of Berkshire Hathaway shows that he is not. Under his direction, Berkshire has had a fantastic average annual return of 20.1%, making it one of the best long-term investments for any investor. Warren Buffett has done a remarkable job of picking stocks that have stood the test of time and continue to deliver above average returns. Berkshire's investment portfolio includes multiple cyclical stocks that align with the US economy. Periods of expansion are typically much longer than recessions, making cyclical stocks tremendous bets. Another aspect of the company's portfolio is that it's packed with reliable dividend stocks. This year, the company will get more than $5 billion in dividends, which is a great buffer given the state of the economy. Number 7. Merck, ticker, MRK. Merck is one of the most successful and profitable drug companies, but because of all the talk about coronavirus vaccines, it has flown under the radar. Merck's most popular drug is Keytruda, a cancer treatment that brings in a lot of money and makes up a big part of its huge revenue base. Moreover, the company's papillomavirus vaccine called Gardasil has impressively complemented sales of Keytruda over the years. So, Merck has a great track record, with sales growing by 9.5% and 15.5% year-over-year. In its most recent quarter, company sales shot up 14% from the prior year period to $14 billion, generating earnings per share of $1.85, or $0.14 cents over consensus estimates. Sales from Keytruda climbed 26% to $5.4 billion, while Gardasil's sales rose 20% on a year-over-year basis, excluding a $2.3 billion charge. Merck has been able to keep its A-rated dividend profile, with a dividend yield of over 2.7% and 11 years of growing payouts, because of how well it has done. Number 6. Kinder Morgan, ticker, KMI. Kinder Morgan is a top midstream player in the energy sector. The company has interests in or owns 141 terminals as well as 83,000 miles of pipelines. Since commodity prices are strong right now, the company has had great results in the last few quarters. In fact, the recent strength in fuel prices is likely to continue for the foreseeable future. This makes Kinder Morgan a business that can handle economic headwinds pretty well. Furthermore, the company's distributable cash flows are growing at an impressive pace, indicative of the quality of its business. The energy giant currently offers a remarkably high 6.1% forward dividend yield with five years of consecutive growth in payouts. Moreover, the company paid out roughly 56.6% of its distributable cash flows as dividends, which gives it enough room to grow its payments while also making new investments in its pipeline infrastructure. Number 5. International Business Machines, ticker, IBM. International Business Machines is a big tech company that was long forgotten in the tech world. Its competitors had invested in new areas like blockchain, cloud computing, and the Internet of Things to keep up with the changes in this market. At the same time, Big Blue maintained its popular hardware business. However, over the past couple of years, its brand has evolved, and it has forayed into new profitable tech industries. Also, because IBM is mostly a business-to-business -business company, it has kept itself safe from the weaker parts of the market, like services for consumers. The company is seeing strong growth in the new parts of its business portfolio, such as consulting, infrastructure, and software, which are key growth areas. Also, IBM has an attractive forward yield of about 5%, and its investors have seen dividends go up for 22 years in a row. Number 4. McCormick & Company, ticker, MKC. McCormick & Company is a leading producer of spices, condiments, and seasonings. Its brand is linked to the food industry, which keeps demand steady for McCormick's business. Growth and stability are shown in its operating performance over the past five years, where it has grown its sales and earnings by single-digit margins. The firm has expanded organically and through strategic acquisitions. Also, McCormick's investments in its sales channels have helped it increase sales without hurting its profit margins. Gross margins have dropped slightly over the years, but it hasn't been anything too concerning. 
With its strong business performance, MKC has a forward dividend yield of just under 2% and has raised its dividends for 36 years in a row. This makes it a dividend aristocrat that investors nearing retirement should think about buying. Number 3. Amazon, ticker, AMZN. We don't think there's any question that Amazon is one of the best stocks to buy right now. One famous investor also views Amazon as a no-brainer stock. Legendary value investor Bill Miller told CNBC in January that the shares were ready for a rebound and called it one of the easiest names in the market right now. Actually, Amazon's stock has already begun a rebound, up more than 20% year-to-date after plunging nearly 50% in 2022. We expect the tech titan's momentum to continue for several reasons. Importantly, inflation appears to be moderating. That's good news for Amazon, which has blamed its sluggish growth in large part on inflationary pressures on customers. The company is also cutting costs, which should lead to improved profitability in 2023 and beyond. Amazon's valuation is attractive. The company still has solid growth prospects in its core e-commerce and cloud hosting markets, plus new opportunities in healthcare and other areas. Even if macroeconomic headwinds don't subside, Amazon remains an excellent long-term pick for investors. Number 2. Mercado Libre, ticker, MELI. Mercado Libre stands out as another great e-commerce pick but it's also one of the best fintech companies on the market. Like Amazon, Mercado Libre disappointed investors last year, with its shares sinking 37%. So far in 2023, the stock has soared nearly 40%. Don't be surprised if Mercado Libre adds to that nice gain in the coming months. The company dominates the e-commerce market in Latin America. Since its rival Americanas is in the middle of an accounting scandal, Mercado Libre's market position could improve even more. However, we're even more excited about Mercado Libre's fintech prospects. Many people in Latin America don't use traditional banking services. That gives the company a huge growth opportunity in this underserved market. Number 1. Vertex Pharmaceuticals, ticker, VRTX. Vertex Pharmaceuticals is an American biopharmaceutical company based in Boston, Massachusetts. Shares of the big biotech company jumped more than 30% last year while the overall market struggled. Vertex is off to a pretty good start in 2023 as well, with a double-digit percentage gain already. There's a lot to like about this stock. Vertex's cystic fibrosis CF, drugs enjoy a monopoly. The company is practically a money machine as a result. And it still has plenty of room to grow in the CF market by securing additional reimbursement deals and regulatory approvals for its existing drugs in younger age groups. Even better, Vertex has its sights set on major markets outside of CF. The company and its partner, CRISPR Therapeutics, want Exasil to be approved so that it can be used to treat very dangerous blood diseases like sickle cell disease and beta thalassemia that needs regular blood transfusions. Vertex also thinks that VX548, a promising non-opioid pain treatment, will soon be approved and put on the market. This new therapy could be a good way to treat pain without the side effects and abuse potential of opioid drugs. Vertex thinks it might have a multi-billion dollar market opportunity with VX548. This concludes our list of the 12 no-brainer retirement stocks to buy in 2023. Which of these stocks would you consider adding to your investment portfolio? Let us know in the comments below. As always, it is essential to do your due diligence and research before committing your hard-earned cash to buy stocks or invest in the market. Remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel for weekly updates on the best stocks to buy and cutting-edge investment strategies for building wealth. Thanks for watching, and best of luck with your investments.